this simulation uh, demonstration is of Gridstat, which is uh, the communication system that we have developed uh, at Washington State University uh, to uh, demonstrate the transfer of uh, uh, PMU data. Uh, and so, um, what we are trying to do is show that simulation uh, in a different environment called GridSim, which actually has the power grid simulated in, in there. Um, GridStat, uh, as, uh, as you know, is uh, been developed for some time with the, uh, as part of this TCIP uh, and TCIPG project as well. And uh, it, it's a publisher subscriber system with one uh, data plane over here, which has the switches and, and so on, that moves data from the uh, publishers to the subscribers. But the main thing is that because not all the data is needed by all the subscribers, it has a management plane that actually decides how to move the data and uh, from where to where and at what speed, at what rates. So, uh, so we have a data plane and then a management plane that looks at it. So. This is uh, demonstrated as part of uh, uh, part of GridSim because it's generally difficult to demonstrate uh, the movement of data through a communication system. So what we do instead is that uh, we have a process of div of producing real time data from a power grid simulator, and that's. Um, that's uh, shown over here, which produces all the PMU data, and that PMU data is then distributed to all the substations, and these substations um, then are, uh, are publishing the data which is being picked up by Gridstat, and this Gridstat is delivering this data to two different applications. One is the oscillation monitor, and the other is the state estimator. And the difference here is that the oscillation monitor requires the PMU data at 30 times a second, but not from every PMU. On the other hand, the state estimator requires the data only about five times a second, but from all the PMUs. So you've got a different set of requirements for these applications, and the GridStat kind of sorts out how to do that. Um, to sh show you what uh, the GridStat is made, uh, GridSim uh, is made up of, you've got the uh, simulation server, that's where the power grid is simulated. It produces all the substation data, and that's actually put on one server over here, but in real life it would be on, on different uh, gateways of the, of the different substations. And then this, uh, um, the, the forwarding engine, this is my grid stat, which is actually um, taking the, the substation data and then forwarding to all the control center applications, uh, with the applications being uh, the, uh, uh, the oscillation monitor and the uh, display of the uh, of, uh, of the state estimator. Now, on this thing over here is where you, we have uh, the oscillation monitor, and we have the bus voltage uh, state estimator over over here. And as you can see, this thing started about um, uh, at zero time, and it has gone through about about one minute in. There was an event here, which. Uh, 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 which is now shown on, on, on this diagram. If you, this is the power system that is being uh, simulated. And on this diagram, this particular uh, line has been uh, opened and then closed. And this is what has happened over here. So everything is coming back to normal. But, uh, but uh, the state estimator has taken this data produced uh, uh, at, at five times a second. and. Uh, um, and, and solve the state estimator to give you what the voltages are over there. Now this is uh, getting uh, normal, so let me show you in the meantime, uh, the PMUs on that system, those uh, red dots are the, are the PMUs, there's 53 PMUs on that system, there's 12 substations, and uh, uh, so there's 65 total data streams at two different rates, 30, second, 30 uh, times a second as, as well as five times a second. 
Okay. In the meantime, you can see that uh, um, in the damping, uh, in the oscillation monitor, this is showing the damping over here, and the damping is not in the red range, so it's a, it's okay. The frequencies it's picking up is 0.69 and 0.55. Those are two, two uh, frequency modes of the oscillations that it's picking up, and this was the oscillation, but it's it's got a slow damping, and so it's damping out. It is it is a low damping ratio, as you can see over here. It's close to the uh, close to the red part, and uh, uh, and so this is all dying out now. Um, so going again back to the, um, uh, the displays here, um, you can see that um, what is shown in color on, on this display, this is my grid stat area, which is my communication network. It's picking up the data from all the PMUs. The, uh, so, so the PMUs are publishing the data. And then the subscribers, uh, which has the, um, um, which has the oscillation monitor and the uh, state estimator, they are actually uh, picking, uh, the grid stat is then uh, moving uh, the data from the substations to the two, uh, uh, the, 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 the two applications, okay? Um, so here was what what has happened so far. We had at at 60 seconds uh, there was a this one was this line opened and then closed uh, five seconds later, and uh, and so everything is now st damping uh, uh, damping out and everything is going back to normal. It, it caused some oscillations which got picked up by the oscillation monitor, but it wasn't too much of a tr too much of a problem. Uh, it, it 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 was lightly damped but it was still damped and the, so you wouldn't uh, worry about it uh, too much and and then what happens is that the next line will open up which is where that next cross is and uh, when that happens you can see that uh, suddenly you've got a, a a big dip in the voltages and uh, that's that's what you're seeing here and and then you start watching for, uh, over here, if uh, uh, the oscillations are changing, and as you can see, the big uh, thing is that th this 0.7 uh, uh, hertz uh, oscillation is being picked up. But again, as you can see, it's damping out. In fact, it's got a higher damping ratio than uh, those uh, these uh, air, uh, this first disturbance over here. So you saw about five minutes of real-time simulation. This it's. Uh, and this is in real time that you saw it. So, um, so finally, in summary, we show a real-time simulation and real-time communications at heterogeneous rates. Uh, the real smart grid applications running in a simulated environment, that's our grid sim, and basically this is looking at a virtual smart grid. Um, the kinds of things that we didn't demonstrate here about grid stat, uh, we, uh, we showed the flexibility and the ability to handle different rates of data uh, and, and moving from different publish publishers to different subscribers, but uh, we didn't show things like encryption, authentication, fast mode switching, redundant paths. These are all uh, uh, actual um, properties of grid stat and uh, um, wasn't wasn't shown in this particular demonstrations thank you